There are no state playoffs due to the pandemic, but the good folks at the Shore Conference made sure there was meaningful high school football in 2020 with an unofficial Shore Conference championship game. The top two teams got here and earned their spots. 7-0 Donovan Catholic paying a visit to 6-0 Wall. The winner has no doubt bragging rights here on the Jersey Shore. Jayon Farrar and Donovan Catholic looking to snap Wall's 19-game win streak in short conference play. The Griffins defense steps up on the opening drive of the game. Logan Peters' pass picked off by Trevor Pruitt. The first half was about two great defenses setting the tone for this title game. Later in the first, Peters under pressure. Nico Ippolito with the quarterback sack. The junior nose guard comes up big and forces Wall to punt. The wall defense did its part as well. The Griffins looking to get the ball in Ferrar's hands. He's hogtied here by Lou Pilla. Big TFL there. We're scoreless at the end of one. Second quarter, Wall gets going on the ground and Casey Larkin breaks through. The Army commit finds the lane and he's gone. 25 yards for Casey Larkin. A nine play 79 yard drive. The extra point is no good. At the half, it's the Crimson Knights with a six nothing lead. Donovan gets the ball to start the second half, but not for long. The kickoff is fumbled. Charlie Sasso falls on it. Wall starts the third quarter, knocking on the door at the Griffins 25. And the Crimson Knights cash in on the turnover. Larkin out of the Wildcat. No one in the shore surprised to see Casey Larkin step up in the biggest game of the year. 15 yards, another missed extra point, makes it 12-0 Wall. Donovan needed just one play to come to life, and here it is. Evan Menta throwing deep. Look at Farrar come down with it. Wow. 31 yards. The Griffins are in business in the red zone. And the drive is capped off by Jadir Laughlin. Up the middle, a four-yard touchdown run, and the Griffins are right back in the game. It's 12-7, 5.09 to go in the third. Farrar has been one of New Jersey's best wideouts. Look at his elite skills here. That is an incredible one-handed catch. Take another look. Farrar uncommitted. This kid is going to be a steal for a Division I school. In the fourth, both teams take their game to championship levels. Menta on third down finds Levi Wilkins over the middle. That's a gain of 14, a huge first down for the Griffins. And then Laughlin does something special. He wiggles out of the pile of bodies, and look at him go. Jadir Laughlin, 39 yards. That's his second touchdown of the game. Donovan Catholic has the lead. It's 13-12, and the Griffins are going for two. The give is to Laughlin. He's not running it. The halfback option executed perfectly. Farrar's got it in the back of the end zone. The two-point conversion gives Donovan Catholic a 15-12 lead. We've got 9.34 to go. Wall faces a third down on the following drive. It's Peters to the air. Over the middle, Matt Dollop's got it. That's Wall's first throw since the interception on the opening drive. Their only completion of the game was huge. 31 yards, the Crimson Knights are knocking on the door. This Logan Peters is a gamer. He sells that ball fake so well up the middle. It's good for 17 yards. First and goal, Wall at the three, two plays later. Peters with some help by that great O-line. It's all about effort here. Logan Peters breaks the plane. That's a three yard touchdown. Wall misses a third extra point. It's 18-15 Crimson Knights. We've got 5.22 to go in the fourth. Donovan now with a fourth and eight. Menta throws a dime. Trevor Pruitt's got it. That's a 23 yard catch. The Griffins are at the wall 19. 2.45 to go in regulation. Laughlin was a force in the second half. He ran for 122 yards. This run gives Donovan Catholic a first and goal at the nine under two minutes to go. Wall's defense buckles down, third and goal. Laughlin stuffed at the three yard line. So we've got fourth and goal now. A short field goal ties the game, but Donovan Catholic sees the chance to win a short conference title. The Griffins are going for it. DC brings in Levi Wilkins at QB and here we go. Wilkins up the middle. Did he get in? Kaysun Sanders, Charlie Sasso on the stop. The wall defense makes an epic goal line stand with just over a minute on the clock and the celebration begins. How close did Donovan Catholic come to winning the Shore Conference? This close, truly a game of inches. And the heartbreak is evident on a great Griffins team that left everything on the field. 18 to 15 is your final. 
Donovan Catholic is here to stay as a legitimate football power, not just in the shore, but the entire state. Dan Curcione and his kids have a lot to be proud of. Wall Seniors went 12-1 last year and 7-0 in 2020. They are the undisputed champions of the Shore Conference. Casey Larkin's final high school game saw him rush for 131 yards and two touchdowns. Larkin and his Wall teammates will cherish this victory for years to come. I mean, I'm going to be telling my kids about this. I mean, I, that's just something, a game of inches, a game of two feet. That's all it was, and I, that's, that's all I'm going to be talking about for years and years to come. You didn't get to play in the state playoffs, yeah. but this is a heck of a substitute, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that, I think it's even better. I mean, to play against all Catholic schools and come out as a public school and win that, I mean, there's nothing better than that. The energy out on that field, you know, I mean, it's unmatchable. We knew the whole time it was going to come down to, a, you know, it was going to be a tight game. It was going to be real tight the whole time. They're a good team. We just knew that we had to come out, you know. At the end of the game, we put it on our defense. We prided it all year. You know, our defense is going to win us the games. And right there, we really showed up right there, one yard. It's hard to explain it. It's just, it's just a crazy feeling. The first in the show to do it, it's just crazy. But we all did it as a team. It was, it was a team effort, you know. Like, like we all trusted each other, and it happened. It's poise, you know, not, getting, not letting the moment get too big and just, you know, guys executing. That's what, really what it came down to. And, and, you know, championship games, you know, coaches are out of it. It's the players that, that win the games, and right there, that stop, you know, the players made those plays. Here's hoping this isn't the last short conference championship game. Congratulations to the Crimson Knights. In Wall, Humbert's Grand Panics for JerseySportsZone.com.